Hey, I'm Roland of Mobile Geeks and we're still at the crazy, crazy, crazy ASUS launch event at Computex 2013 and what we have right here is the new ASUS Transformer Pad Infinity. Infinity means they're taking things a bit further. There was already an Infinity Pad from ASUS but they're now integrating the new Tegra 4 ARM Cortex A15 quad core in there. And it's running at 1.9 gigahertz, so it's basically the quickest or fastest Cortex A15 that's available on the market right now. They're talking about an availability, availability in Q3, so it's going to be out in autumn, basically. Um, what else is there? It has a 10.1 inch screen, but this thing is actually running at a WQXGA resolution, which means it's 2560 by 1440 pixels. No, it's basically 2560 by 1600. Um, there's two gigs of RAM in there, you have 32 gigs of flash memory, and yeah, basically it's the most high-end tablet you'll be able to get from ASUS. On the front we have a 2 megapixel camera, I think that should be a 2 megapixel. Um, on the back we have a 5 megapixel shooter, or is it 8? 5, right? Five. It's 5 megapixel, and we have an LED flash right there. Up on top, this looks like the power button, and on the side right here, that's the volume rocker, right? We have the volume rocker there. Um, down here, this looks like a micro SD card slot. We have a micro HDMI, that's a mic right there, and the headphone jack. On the bottom, you have the data port and the latches for the keyboard dock, which is also going to be available on the new Transfinity Transformer Infinity. There's another mic right there, and on the back we have these speaker meshes right there. As you can see, it's always this nice aluminum finish from ASUS. It feels really, it feels great. It's basically about 580 grams, I think, and it's got a metal back. Feels great, and it's sturdy. This is still a pre-production model, so and we're low on battery, so it prob it's probably going to shut down any minute. But let's just take a quick look at the settings right here, and let's try to be fast about the tablet. It's still on 4.2.1, but until it's available, it's probably going to be updated. Um, what else is there? As you can see, it going to be available with the dock. So you have... What is that actually? Uh, that's a power. Oh, that's a charging port right there. That's a charging port right there. You have an LED that tells you when you're charging it. You have an integrated click pad right here. No separate mouse buttons, but the click point is all right. The keyboard, as you might know from the other devices, is pretty decent. You have a huge shift key on the left, a pretty tiny one on the right that's might might going to bother a couple of users. Um, there's a mechanical latch lock up here. I'm not going to put it in there because somebody already broke one of the devices. And on the other side we have a micro SD card, oh no, a full size SD card reader and a USB 3, should be USB 3 port right there. Um, there's pretty much nothing on the bottom, but as always this feels like plastic. There's a battery in there which is going to be prolonging the battery life. And yeah, it's basically a really awesome tablet that's going to be out in Q3. They're still working on the software as you saw just there. It's still kind of laggy. Uh, that's the new Tiger 4 version of the Transformer Pad Infinity. It's going to be in autumn 2013. Thank you. Hey, it's Roland from Mobile Geeks, and I'm just going to add another thing to our short hands on with the Transformer Pad Infinity. Since the panel is actually such a high resolution and it's the Tiger 4 in there, both of them are sucking pretty hard on the battery, and right now in testing they're reaching up to 8 hours in battery life. They want to go up to 10, but to actually make it there, they're actually integrating a 8,180 milliampere hour battery. It's got 30, 31 watt hour, so they're really cramming a huge battery in there, and they're still only making it up to 8 to 10 hours. So what you pay for with the, the, for the high resolution and the high-end processor is basically battery life, which is going to be basically the same as on the older versions, but you have way more power and a huge resolution on this device. Plus, you always get the transformer dock with another battery in there, so you probably will make it up to like 12 hours or something.